know you're in there. Open the door. Nicola! Flora. You came all this way for the same answer. Nicola, please. Please! You are trespassing on this island. You must let me in! Understand me. You will only get inside this house over my dead body. Leave. Now. Why won't you help me? I am helping you. Why these people? Why let these total strangers make their mistakes undone when I'm begging? I'm begging you, Nicola! Because undoing their mistakes doesn't hurt anyone else. It hurts me. Be a good man, goddamn you! Be a good man! I'm going, I'm going. May God strike you down! Captain? When are you coming back? Captain? Hello? <laughs> Miss? <laughs> Miss? Are you alright? I'm fine. Excuse me, but... 
The evidence seems to suggest otherwise. Would you tell me your name, please? Flora White. Flora? Could I persuade you to come out of the rain, Flora? You'll catch your death out here. I don't care. I'm quite certain Mr. Tesla has fresh towels and a nice fire inside. Do you know him? Do I know who? Tesla, do you know Mr. Tesla? Well, obviously you must, to have come all the way out here. Is he your friend? Uh, my friend? No. No, I never met him. Then he won't listen to you. He won't let me in. I'm quite certain Mr. Tesla is a man of common decency. Of course he, he'll let you inside. I'll, I'll make sure of it. Please. you think Mr. Tesla won't let you inside? He told me so. He already turned me away. He did? Why is this? Miss, I believe this could be yours. Oh dear God, thank you. Thank you, I couldn't bear to lose this. It's very pretty. So you were saying Mr. Tesla turned you away? Why would he do that? What's your name, sir? My name is Gustav. You're very kind, Mr. Gustav. But I'm afraid this is a private matter. It's open. Mr. Tesla? Is he all right? Stand back, miss. <sighs> What's going on here? Ah, Detective Gustav, I assume. My apologies, I, I didn't hear the bell. You must be exhausted. Sweden is a long way to come from. If you will be so kind as to follow me, I will show you to your room. Stop! Who are you? I... I am Oliver Swan, sir. Mr. Tesla's manservant. You're his butler? Yes, sir. What happened here? What? What do you mean, sir? Are you blind? Yes, sir. Blind from birth. Besides the three of us, how many people in this house? Four, sir. Call them down immediately. Bang the gong. Sir? You're a detective. Bang the gong right now. No, I'm not. But he called you detective. Mr. Swan? Sir? How many exits in this building? Only the front door, sir. But all the windows can be opened from the inside.
What's that? That's the murder weapon. Why the devil is the dinner gong being rung at such an hour? My god. Is he dead? Mr. Swan, stay where you are. Who are you? Edison. Thomas Edison. Edison. The inventor. Tesla invited me. Who are you? My name is Gustav Gustav. Gustav Gustav? That's right. The detective so good they named him twice. I read about you in the papers, of course. Your downfall is quite Shakespearean. Who are you? I don't know what kind of detective doesn't recognize the most famous stage actress in the world. That's Sarah Bernhardt. The Divine Sarah? And you? What's your name? My name is Augustus van der Berg. I'm Marcus van der Berg's son. Marcus van der Berg. The famous railroad magnate. I can't be here. I, I've got to get out of here. Nobody's going anywhere. I can't be here. I mean, what are people going to say? They'll say Tesla had himself an accident. Oh, this was no accident. He died from a blow to his head, and the blood has only started congealing around the edges. This happened less than ten minutes ago. What? What does that mean? It means I'm a murder suspect. We all are. We can't leave him like this. I need to mark the time of death. My pocket watch is still on Swedish time. Mr. Edison, you are an American. You have the local time. Yes? Why does he look so old? The time, please! Six o'clock. Exactly six. Nobody moves! Stop! I don't know, I can't see. Turn around! I'm unarmed. I hope so! For your sake! The killer's trying to escape. How do we know that? Innocent men don't run. Back to the house! Stop. Mr. Swan, where's the dining room? That way, sir. And we have a telephone there, too. Keep walking. Well, that was over quickly. Bonsoir, monsieur. I wonder if Tesla has a set of gallows around here somewhere. Nobody's to leave this house. I intend to speak with each of you. That's far enough. What's this? My last will and testament. 
Strange thing to travel with. Every man's journey ends in the grave. I'm just prepared. If you die without a will, then they auction off everything you had. And I won't stand for that. Victor Mundy. That your name? Yep. All right. Why did you run, Mr. Mundy? Because I'm a murderer. Sir, Mr. Mundy is here by invitation. Same as you and the other guests. Sit down. Sir, the local police can take charge of this matter for you. Local police? Why not? Hello, operator. Please connect me to the police, please. Hello, police? This is Detective Gustav Gustav. I'm... Yes, it's Swedish. I'm calling from Mr. Tesla's island. There's been a murder here and I need you to send a boat immediately. Thank you. Mr. Swan, would you please tend to the other guests until the police arrive? Very well, sir. Tell me the truth right now. You said Mr. Tesla turned you away. Why would he do that? I was his assistant. A few months ago, he fired me without notice. I came here to beg for my job back. I need money, but he wouldn't even let me inside to talk. You worked here? Yes. You know the house. Right then. Take this. Search each floor and report back to me. We only just met. I trust you. I could be the killer for all you know. No, you couldn't. Because when I met you out in the rain, there were no footprints around you. What does that prove? In this weather, that kind of soil, rain takes at least 20 minutes to wash away footprints. Which means that you were sitting exactly where I found you for at least 20 minutes before I arrived. But Mr. Tesla was killed less than 10 minutes before we found him. So you see, you're the only person I can trust in this house. I am a detective, and I will catch this killer. But he just said he did it. Did he? You can go now. All right. Please be careful, Mr. Gustav. I will. Who's the French woman out there? I don't think you're Miss Bernard's type, Mr. Mundy. So, you killed Mr. Tesla? You say I did. Really? Why would I say that? Because I killed before. I killed my wife. And a bit on the side of the 26 years behind bars for it. So I'm an easy scapegoat for something like this. That's why I ran. And why did you come? Because I got a letter. Out of the blue. Tesla said he can change my life. Make my mistake undone. Let's just say he got my attention. He said the same to you, didn't he? How well did you know him? First I'd ever heard of him when I got a letter. And when I got you, the blind bloke opened the door. First time I'd ever seen Tesla, or any of the other guests, is when you found him. Not much of an alibi, Mr. Mundy. A blind man. When I killed my wife, my daughter testified against me. Little Mary Mundy. 
Seven years old she was back then. But those fancy men in their wigs, they believed her. That's why I snuck a knife into the courtroom. I went for her throat. But I missed. I took her nose clean off her face. A juicy little scrap for the courthouse dog. I still dream about finally gutting that ungrateful bitch, wherever she is now. Why are you telling me this? Because you need to understand. If I want to kill someone, I don't hide it. I don't lie. People lie because they're afraid. And I ain't afraid of nothing. What about you? Me? I don't like violent men, Mr. Mundy. They bring out the worst in me. Do not try to leave this house before my investigation is over. You can go. <laughs> For now. Mr. Swan was in here. Uh, Flora. Did you find anything? No. Nothing. Why did you want to know where the butler is? I was hungry. What about Victor Mundy? I, I thought he did it. I'm going to talk to everybody. Why did you lie about being a detective? I didn't lie. You didn't tell the truth. All that matters is bringing this killer to justice. I have a right to know who I'm stuck in this house with. Why did you say you weren't a detective? Because a real detective doesn't make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. You look like you could use a drink. I know where Tesla keeps the good whiskey. No. No, there's work to be done. So who do you think killed Mr. Tesla? It's a little early for that. But I have my suspicions. Who? Mr. Edison! You think it was Edison? Go. I'll take the rest of the house. I am a respected inventor, Detective, not a dog. Don't call me in such a manner. I see you don't drink the house whiskey. Your cologne smells very expensive. It's rose water. Same scent that Mozart wore. Ah. Hoping some of his genius will drop off on you. I already am a genius. Isn't that what they say about you and Tesla? That you are the Salieri to his Mozart. You've got a damn nerve. You knew each other well, didn't you? At best, you were rivals. At worst, enemies, maybe. Yet, according to the papers, Mr. Tesla out-invented you time and time again. Have I got that right? Nikola Tesla was no more my equal than you are, detective. Then why come all the way out here? Perhaps you should lay off the booze, Mr. Gustav. It pushes a man's mind in foolish directions. You came to kill Tesla, didn't you? Who the hell do you think you are? Well, if you didn't, why are you here? Why are you here, Mr. Edison? Because I wanted to know what he meant. About what? 
Tesla said if I came, he could make my mistake undone. I wanted to know how! What mistake? Oh, I assure you, I will find out either way. <sighs> A man like me receives dozens of unsolicited designs every day. Some of my inventions may have been, shall we say, inspired by those designs. I'd somehow Nick... Nikola found out. He called it my great mistake. Dear God, I do hope this isn't your will. There's barely a word spelled correctly. So... You stole your inventions. You're not a genius. You're a thief. You can't put a stake in front of a wolf and expect them not to eat it. Tesla could have ruined your name. That's a powerful motive for murder. <laughs> you think I would really tell you all that so willingly if I actually killed the man? Well, in my experience, people tend to tell a little truth to hide the bigger lie. Brilliant theory, detective. But I'm afraid I must exonerate myself. Follow me. Heal. Mr. Vandenberg! Mr. Vandenberg! What are you doing? Murder is a matter of motive and opportunity, yes? Evidently, you're stupid enough to believe I was sufficiently motivated. But let us now test your little theory and see if I had opportunity. Where the hell is that boy? Probably got stuck in a pile of his father's money. Mr. Vandenberg! If you had an alibi, Mr. Edison, you would have told me by now. I didn't expect to be accused. All right. Where were you when Mr. Tesla was killed? I was alone in my room. Not a very good alibi, is it? I don't remember hearing yours. Maybe you killed him. Hello? What's going on? Tell him what you told me. About what you heard. You heard a woman. Tell him. A few minutes b before you arrived, I... I heard something. What? Someone. A, a, a woman's voice. Arguing with Tesla. It, it must have been moments before he was murdered. A woman's voice? Whose voice? I don't know. I was upstairs in my room and the storm was too loud to hear what they were up in arms about. At that time, there was only one woman in this house. You think she killed him? <sighs> Mademoiselle? Miss Bernard? Oh, she seems pleasant enough. But they say she used to be a wagtail. I'm afraid your American slang is lost on me, Mr. Edison. Well, that's probably for the best. Just remember, she's an actress. She lies for a living. Bonsoir, gentlemen. Have the police arrived? No, not yet. Would you please come to the dining room, mademoiselle? I'm not sure I can entertain all three of you at once. <sighs> Just me, Miss Bernard. Hmm. I suppose that'll do. <laughs> Ooh la 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 la. You all look very serious. A man did just die here. But the show must go on, no? Shall we? Mr. Vanderberg, don't wander off too far. I intend to speak to you next. Gentlemen. So you're famous, Miss Bernard. <laughs> you flatter me, Monsieur Gustave. But an actor does not seek fame. We seek only truth. Then we have one thing in common. 
By the way, Mr. Vanderberg says he heard you shouting at Mr. Tesla at the front door, moments before he was murdered. Then Monsieur Vanderberg is a liar. Really? The butler let me in. Not Tesla. He showed me to my room and there I stayed until you arrived. Well, if it wasn't you that was shouting at Mr. Tesla, then who? <laughs> I don't know. Perhaps we should have a seance and ask him. Why did Tesla invite you here? <laughs> Just because you're handsome does not mean I will give up my secrets so fast. I am an officer of the law. This will go as fast as I want it to. <sighs> but you'll get so much deeper if you go slow. Let's play a game together, huh? I'm not interested in games. But you are interested in the truth. Hmm. In this game, we'll take turns. You answer my question, and then I will answer yours. This way we both get what we want. Go on. Hmm. Do you like me? Doesn't everybody? I only care if you do. Why would you care? Is that your question? We. Oui. Because if the most dangerous man in the house likes me, then I'm not in any danger. Oh, I'm not dangerous. Oh, what a pity. My turn. Monsieur Detective. Is there such thing as a mystery that cannot be solved? Two men on a roof. One fell off, there was no way of proving whether he was pushed, or he jumped. The perfect crime. My turn. I think you came here because Mr. Tesla told you he could make your mistake undone. What was that mistake? I made no mistake. No? No. Somehow, Tesla knew a secret that I never told another living soul. I didn't want him dead. I wanted to know how he knew. What's this? It belongs to the man I called outside. Something is burning. Stay here! His name is Victor Mundy? Hello? Is something burning? I smell smoke? If you didn't do it, I demand to know who poisoned my drink? You wait right here. I'll be back to you. What's going on? Somebody was trying to burn this document. Well, it certainly wasn't me. I was downstairs. What is it? What does it say? For goodness sake, ma'am, what does it say? It says other death. What does that mean, other death? What other death? Indeed. It could be instructions for the killer. No, this is Tesla's handwriting. Did you happen to see anybody else come up here? No. No one but you. You smelled that burning from downstairs? I did. You've quite a nose. Where were we? Detective, I wish to be honest with you. Oh, I thought you were honest all along. I know who killed Tesla. <sighs> who? Victor Mondi. And you know this exactly how? I just know. 
You have to do a little better than that. <sighs> Why else would he run away? Remind me, what was your alibi? You can't seriously believe what Vandenberg said about me. The spoiled little nouveau riche. Call him in here! If I am to be accused, I want to hear him say it to my face. Monsieur Vandenberg! Monsieur Vandenberg! <clears throat> well, I certainly seem to be at people's back and call this evening. You told Monsieur Gustav that you heard my voice right before Tesla was murdered. Not exactly. I said I heard a voice. No. You said you heard a woman's voice. I was the only woman in the house. That is an accusation. I can't be sure that it was a woman. May I remind you that you told me quite plainly that you heard a woman arguing with Mr. Tesla moments before I found him dead. I wasn't being entirely truthful. Then be truthful now. It wasn't a woman. Why would you say it was? Mr. Edison is a very passionate man. So? Passionate men are best agreed with when their blood's up. Honestly, I think the voice I heard was, was a man's. A man like Victor Mondi? I don't know. Mr. Vanderberg, either you were lying then, or you are lying now. This is the truth now. Maybe somebody else got into the house. No, no, no. No. Victor Mondi tried to escape. That means he's guilty. I will decide who's guilty and who's not guilty. How would somebody else have come into the house? <laughs> the butler's blind. Mr. Swan! Get out, both of you. How may I help you, sir? Mr. Swan, did you let each of the guests in personally? Yes, sir. All except for Miss White. She came with you. Right. And when you opened the door, could somebody else have snuck in behind them? Maybe somebody we don't know about? I... I... Uh, I, I don't know, sir. Forgive me, Mr. Swan, but why would Tesla pay to have a blind assistant? To keep his secret safe from Brian's eyes. And he did not pay me. I work for free. It's what the government says I must do to stay here in America. That's slavery, what you're describing. No. I was a slave in Zanzibar. Here. I am an indentured servant. But if people think I killed Mr. Tesla, I will be sent back. I cannot go back. Mr. Swan, I wouldn't worry. Blind men don't usually get blamed for murder. Thank you. Please, excuse me. I must turn down the guest rooms. Of course. Hello? 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 
No, no, wait, dear monsieur. I only saw the maybe she. Did he tell you something then about me? <sighs> he did uh, not even mention me. You said you lost someone. Laura Sluckett. What was your name? You know, um, if this confession really was the man, shouldn't we call it that? Monsieur Tesla! Monsieur Nicola Tesla! Your killer is in this house. Speak his name. Speak his name. It came from in Laura? there. Where is she? Where is she? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Laura? Je ne sais pas. Flora I suggest you back off. What happened? Flora. I just fuck it. I found him like this. It wasn't me. We all know who it was. It was this godforsaken animal. Put that finger away before I snap it off. Spoken like a true innocent man. Yeah, and where were you? I was with Mr. Swan. It is true. He was with me. Who would want to kill this poor boy? I don't see anyone giving you an alibi. I was with her. Tell him. I, um... Tell him! She doesn't seem very keen, does she? It, it, it could have been, Mr. White. Don't you dare. I say we tie up this animal until the police arrive and take him back to his cage for good. That's enough! Mr. Edison, I need to mark the time of death. Do you have the hour? It's 11.35. Mr. Swan. Yes, sir? Why are you wet? I, uh... I, 
Uh, when I heard Miss White scream, I, I thought it was coming from outside, so I went to make sure. You're blind, not deaf. Her scream clearly came from under the house. <laughs> Sir, if you had suggested that I had anything to do with... Now hear this! All of you. I sat quietly and listened to your lies. And one of you took that to mean I was a fool. And in your arrogance, you took another life. This young boy's life! But I promise you, this will not go unpunished. This will not go unpunished! Gustav, we've been here a quarter of an hour. Let me check the house again. We might have missed something. I don't think you should be drinking. What were you doing in the basement? You told me to look around. You must know I had nothing to do with this. I'm the one who found him. A deductive mind would see that as evidence of guilt. Oh. Really? And what's your alibi? When we arrived together, I didn't have time to search Tesla's body thoroughly. I was distracted. But later on, I had another look and I found this. It's yours. Why would I make a duplicate of my own locket? Somebody is clearly trying to frame me, aren't they? Give me back Mr. Tesla's gun. For goodness sake, you can trust me. You said so yourself. Give me back that gun! I... I don't have it. I didn't feel safe carrying it around, so I hid it away. Get it. Now. And don't take too long. I, Victor Mundy, direct that all estates, inheritance, and other death taxes shall be paid as an expense of administration. Other death. Son of a bitch! Water. Going somewhere, Mr. Edison? I'm going to my room. To lock the door and wait for the police. And once they take that Victor Mundy away, maybe I'll come out. 
I thought you'd like to spend more time in the basement, labbing up a little of the Tesla genius. I had a revelation about those two words we found. Other death. You see, I don't think it was a prediction from beyond the grave, or even instructions for the killer. But I think you know that. Don't you, Mr. Edison? What I know is... You're drunk. And you're grasping at straws. You burned that document, didn't you? But thanks to Victor Mundy, I know what it was. For goodness sake, go to if bed. If you die without a will, they will auction off everything you had. That means all of Tesla's inventions, all of his patents, all of his genius. It will all go on a nice little auction. Where a thief like you can snap it up and put the Edison stamp on it. But what if somebody were to figure out your little plan and wanted to bid against you at the auction? You're wealthy, Mr. Edison, but you're not Vanderberg wealthy, and that's why you killed him! And I'm sure you have all sorts of evidence to support this theory, don't you, Detective? It's all about time. Time is the key to solving this case. Remember when first we met? I asked you to mark the hour of death of Mr. Tesla. You took out your pocket watch and said six o'clock. And right at that moment, the grandfather clock struck six, which meant that your pocket watch and the grandfather clock were both on local time. Perfectly synchronized. But later, when we went into the basement and I asked you to mark the time of death of Mr. Vanderberg, you said 11.45. So what? Well... When I went back upstairs a few minutes later, I heard the grandfather clock strike seven. Which meant that your pocket watch was no longer on local time. Do you know where in the world it was 11.45 when you told me that? Where? Manchester, England. The hometown of Mr. Vanderburg. The place to which his pocket watch... Was set. This is nonsense! Is it? Turn out your pockets, Mr. Edison. Even if I did kill him, why the hell would I take his pocket watch? You can't put a steak in front of a wolf and expect them not to eat it. Satisfied? <laughs> Other pocket. Give it to me. Am I supposed to believe you're going to shoot me? How will you explain that to the police? Oh, I see. You never called them. Because I know how easily you can fool a policeman. We all came here to make our mistakes undone. I cannot undo mine. But I can make sure it doesn't happen again! And after you shoot me, I suppose you'll justify yourself to the law by showing them the only piece of proof that confirms your story. 
And then they'll have to believe you, won't they? Don't. No! Doesn't matter. I still have the locket. I don't know why you made a duplicate, but I know it proves something! I've never seen that before in my entire life. <laughs> why don't you turn the gun on yourself? You're nothing but a drunk. A detective who let two murders happen under his nose. And me? I am the father of the modern age! You killed that boy! And you killed Mr. Tesla! Is that what you believe? It's what I know! Men like you... escape the gallows! But you're not escaping... me! You should come inside. 